Good morning, afternoon, or evening, as the case may be, in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer, and uh, this is my channel, as you know. It is uh, probably about 8 o'clock in the morning, and yesterday I saw something that I found particularly interesting, and I thought I would share it with you this morning, because I came out to have coffee. I often come out here on the stoop to have coffee, and, and saw it, and I thought you might be interested in seeing it. So with that, I'm going to turn this around. Right. Right there he is. This is a cicadas. Now, this particular cicadas, these come out annually. They come out every year. I don't know how good a picture I can get of him for you. But that's him right there. Now, that right there is the pod or the uh, the larvae that he came out of so he is brand new cicadas that is one ugly bug isn't he let's see if i can get a little better picture Maybe I can change some settings here. Let's see what I can do for you. That is a cicada. And that is what he came out of. Right there. You can see how the back is broke open where he came out, where he climbed out. And that is my little friend, the cicadas. Now the reason I bring this up is because yesterday, a friend of mine was over here, and we were looking at, at the cicadas. You could hear them throughout the trees. And uh, in the process, we saw something that I'd never seen before. We, we saw a bug that I'd never seen before. It wasn't the cicadas, however. It was something that was attacking the cicadas. And what it was that was attacking the cicadas was something called a uh, cicadas killer wasp. Now this thing is just about as big as my thumb. It's the same size as a cicadas is. Now if you can imagine a wasp that big, that's a little scary to begin with. It's colored um, red and black with uh, kind of brownish red wings. And uh, it was just, it just kept stinging. It had the cicadas turned over on its back and it just kept stinging it over and over and over until the cicadas stopped moving. So it, it obviously had attacked the cicadas. And when I realized that it wasn't a cicadas that was crawling out of that little, that little larvae stage like I showed you, when I realized that it was actually a bug that was attacking the cicadas, and because it was a wasp, I stepped on it and I killed it. You know, it was only about an hour later I saw exactly the same thing again. Exactly the same kind of bug attacking another cicadas in exactly the same way. So I didn't know what it was. It, you know, it was driving me crazy, and, it, and, and that's not really a drive, it's more of a short putt. But uh, it was driving me crazy, and so, I did what, what any any good guy would do. I uh, I went and Googled it and found out all about this uh, wasp killer um, or, or cicadas killer wasp. Very weird stuff. Now I'm 50 years old and I've lived in this area all of my life. Not got a little water there. I lived in this area all of my life, and I have never, in my recollection, seen that before. So it just seemed a little odd, for, odd to me, and I thought I'd show it to you. Um, maybe later on today, since it, since it happened twice yesterday within an hour, who knows? Of course, it's raining today, but who knows? If I can find, if I see another one doing that, I'll definitely take some pictures of it so that you can see what it was that I saw and just, just how strange it is. So, uh, we'll see. And if not, then until next time, this is Zen Archer, saying you be well.
keep your eyes open. It's amazing. The world is amazing. And the things...